In this demo, we will set up a Citus MX formation using the Citus Cloud Console. I will use four nodes in high availability mode, meaning each node has a hot standby, which automatically takes over in case of failure. Once my formation is ready, I will see the dashboard where I can monitor and change my formation, and I will find the URLs to connect directly to the Postgres nodes. I can get started with Citus by connecting to the coordinator. The coordinator is a small additional Postgres node, which I only use for administrative commands. Citus is an extension to Postgres, which adds the ability to distribute tables across many servers. I can create a distributed table by first creating a Postgres table and then specifying the distribution column and creating a number of shards. Each shard will contain a different set of device IDs. After creating a distributed table, I can start using the data URL, which connects me to a random data node. Every data node contains a different set of numbered shards as well as the distributed table. Writes to the distributed table are routed to a particular shard based on the device ID. If I then get connected to a different node, I will see the same distributed table with all preceding writes in a consistent manner. Now let's add some more data to our distributed table. This tool starts a number of threads which send individual inserts to the database via the data URL, getting a throughput of around 15,000 per second. If I want higher throughput, I can easily scale out my cluster by adding more nodes in the Citus Cloud console. After a while, the new nodes will come online without interruption, and I can see my throughput increase and my latency drop because my queries are now being routed via eight nodes instead of four. However, my data is still on the original four nodes. To solve this, I can run the shard rebalancer, which automatically moves shards between the data nodes one by one. While the shard rebalancer is running, queries on the distributed table can continue as normal, except writes on the shard that is currently being moved will experience higher latencies. Once the shard rebalancer is done, the data is redistributed, and I can see my throughput increase to 30,000 per second, twice what we had originally. While my inserts are ongoing, I can still do fast selects, such as this query for a particular device which goes to a single shard, or this query across all devices which Citus parallelizes across the cluster. You might be wondering, how fast can Citus really go? So I set up another formation with 32 bigger nodes on which I will run the YCSB benchmark. YCSB is a benchmark for testing query throughput with reads and writes on a particular key. I use the YCSB Java tool, which connects to Postgres through the JDBC driver, and configured it to insert 10 million rows of 100 bytes each. To run the full benchmark, I set up 32 driver nodes, one for each database node. To run the YCSB command on each of them, I use the PSSH tool, which runs SSH commands in parallel. After a while, I can see the results coming in, and each node performed around 16,000 inserts per second, which adds up to over 500,000 inserts per second. And these are consistent, durable writes using the Citus Cloud production settings. If you need even higher throughput, you can use the copy command to append a raw data file directly to the distributed table. We put a file with 10 million rows on each of the driver nodes and loaded it using copy. The whole process of loading 320 million rows took only 45 seconds, which is 7 million rows per second. If you're interested in using Citus MX, please contact us for a demo.